Hi, everybody. It is, uh, I have to look at my date. It is Wednesday afternoon, isn't it? Yes. I uh, hope you had a good day today. The big story between now and Sunday is on the left, all dry days. High pressure ridging starts to take firm hold tomorrow on Thursday, and we really have a stretch of very nice weather. And enjoy it, because remember starting next week, in fact, Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, we could go on about a two-week run of uh, most days seeing clouds and rain and below normal temperatures and good mountain snow and all of that. So enjoy this uh, stretch while we have it. Um, notice that part of the story next Tuesday into Wednesday, snow levels that could by Wednesday night be down close to 1,000 feet with this cold upper level low. Here's the polar jet stream, that blue contour going all the way down into Reno and all the way down to San Francisco. So again, that is the cold trough that comes in next Tuesday and Wednesday, which takes us back to enjoying the weather that we have upcoming. I am meteorologist Rod Hill coming to you from uh, Vancouver, Washington this afternoon in the Portland area, if you will. All right. So one of the things that looks exciting, because most people view it as really good news, and that is what this colder weather return next week will do or mean for the Cascade snowpack, and these are snow levels site-specific to Mount Hood. So this is next week. So Tuesday of next week, the day things start to get really active. 4,000-foot snow level, 3 to 6 inches of snow. And then by Wednesday, down below 2,000 feet, I've got 1,500 feet, 8 to 14 inches. Now, I will be the first to tell you that when I'm projecting snow levels and even more so snow amounts – this far in advance, it's really kind of sketchy. So take these numbers for what you will. These are my kind of ballpark numbers at this point. And then Thursday of next week, snow level even lower, 1,200 feet, 6 to 8 inches. A little bit higher on Friday, 3 to 6 inches. And then Saturday of next week, that's a week from the Saturday, way out still, snow level goes back down to about 1,500 feet, 6 to 10 inches, up on Mount Hood, below 2,000 feet. So you add all this together, and you've got 20, 28, 34. You've got potentially 44 inches of snow coming to at least Mount Hood Meadows and Timberline next week. Wow. Okay. That's great for the snowpack, great for spring skiing and boarding, obviously. I'm going to show you the animations of all this. Uh, this YouTube weather video brought to you by the Momentous Wealth Podcast. Listen on Apple Podcasts. Listen on Spotify again. If you haven't checked this out, there's a lot of these are, are evergreen, meaning they're, in many cases, topics meant to educate you in investing topics that may have been posted months ago, but they're still pertinent today. So check it out. Brought to you by local firm Momentous Wealth Management, licensed in Oregon and in Washington. Okay, uh, well, we're enjoying, we're enjoying sunshine. We did it today. We'll enjoy it again tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here are the live cameras at 540 this afternoon. There's Tilla McHeddle on the North Coast. They're getting sun. Cathedral Ridge Winery out in Hood River getting sun. The Wine Country, Willamette Valley Vineyards, uh, Persimmon Golf and Country Club in Gresham, Lewis River up in Woodland, Camas Meadows, Sun River, kind of some cloudiness over there, but otherwise pretty nice. And all of the cameras show pretty good weather. There's Aspen Lakes Golf Course uh, in Sisters. Again, cloudiness in Central Oregon, but otherwise not bad today. And this is always fun. This is Canada Hot Springs Resort over in Warm Springs, these big pools that they redid. Um I've seen this really active, so check this out uh, if you haven't. It's it's maybe a good weekend getaway for you. Anyway, we will look for no weather-related issues in the coming days as our weather continues to be dry. We will have chilly nights, especially the next couple. So this is tonight into Thursday morning. So you wake up Thursday morning. Weather model says mid-30s to upper 30s up in Seattle, 36, 35, 34 around Portland down into Salem, 36 in Eugene. Uh, 38 degrees down in Roseburg, and then mid to upper 30s down in Medford. Temperatures mid 30s to 40 along the coast, freezing in central Oregon, uh, freezing out around Pendleton. So not extreme cold, but, you know, chilly nights nonetheless. We're going to see similar temperatures, I think, as we get going into Friday morning. So that, that's kind of the range that we're looking at with these chilly nights uh, coming up. Here is maybe what you want to see. And I thought it'd be fun. We're going to count weather systems. So this is the upper level trough that we had today. It's the reason that I had a spotty shower chance in today's forecast. It's also the reason 
that we had enough convection of cloud cover today of cumulus clouds that we got some cold downpours and maybe where you were it turned a bit breezy. The showers ended up being mainly coast, coast range and cascades. Anyway, this cold trough moves out tomorrow. Here comes the ridging building in on Thursday, centered up on Friday. Nice ridging on Saturday. I still think the weekend will easily be up into the 60s in, in much of the Lama Valley, including Portland, both days on Saturday and Sunday. And then here's two systems. Notice, here's one up to our north, and then notice the second low, which is to our south. At one point, it looked like this system was going to come into us, and we had rain in the Sunday forecast days ago. But now it's going south and staying offshore. Notice what happens Monday. Monday is still a low confidence day. Do we cloud over? Do we see a chance of rain showers? Or do we enjoy one final dry day Monday before we get wet on Tuesday? Again, on Monday, kind of a split flow pattern. One low down into California. The main one that I'm tracking for us is this cold low up to our northwest. It still holds off. So I still think it's possible we're kind of in between and dry on Monday. But all bets are off on Tuesday. Here's the first weather front coming in. Um, at the surface, it comes in Tuesday evening. Look at the polar jet all the way over into eastern Oregon. This is actually the European models. Let me back up. When I looked at the American GFS model, the front on Tuesday it doesn't come in until the evening. But clearly on the European model, this is a front coming in earlier in the day on Tuesday with the cold air push all the way to eastern Oregon and a very wet day on Tuesday. The cold trough intensifies Wednesday. Again, a very wet day. This is the day that snow levels could be just above 1,000 feet during the day hours for um, sticking snow. Here is Thursday. Of, again, this is next week, Thursday, March 13th. That system finally, see the trough, pulls off into Nevada and Idaho. But we have a new one back here. So we get some showers maybe on Thursday and the Friday. Then a brand new weather system arrives for the weekend. This is Friday the 14th. Um, here is cold weather. There's a polar jet to our south at snow level of 2,000 feet or lower, maybe 1,500 feet on Saturday the 15th. And then we've got that weekend's out on Sunday. And then we've got another system. This one looks a little more shallow, but Monday the 17th would bring us likely rain and maybe snow down to Cascade Passes. And then there's a little bit of warming on the 19th before we get, look at this, another cold system on Saturday the 21st. So let me back this up. You get the idea it's going to be very active. So starting with the weather system that comes in Tuesday of next week, okay? There's Tuesday. That's one. It's kind of the same weather system. It moves off. Here's Friday the 14th. There's two, okay? Well, Friday the 14th, this is, and then that impacts us on Saturday. Here's a third one coming in on Sunday the 16th into that Monday, three, Okay, here's a fourth one that comes down onto us. That stays, the colder weather stays a little bit more north. This is the 20th, and then that intensifies. Here's another system on the back end of that, uh, five systems on the 23rd, and that kind of drops in. Here's a brand new one, a sixth system on the 25th of March. And is there a seventh system that comes in on the 30th? So that's seven systems over a period of two weeks. So that's basically a new front many of them producing snow at Cascade Pass level and colder in a two-week period, every other day, basically a front. So I, I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay. Um, so that first period where it gets cold would be, when, especially Wednesday of next week. This is a seven-day anomaly, temperature anomaly. So from Tuesday the 11th uh, all the way into the 18th of March, this shows that we average about seven degrees colder than normal for Kelso Longview all the way down into Salem and all the way down into Lane County and even colder down in Southern Oregon. Look at these departures, nine, 11 degrees colder than normal, 10 degrees colder than normal in Central Oregon. Departures are negative by the tune of five to six degrees across much of Washington. Again, these are the, the temperature departures over a long stretch starting Tuesday of next week going through that weekend. You get the idea. Everything's pointing to cold. All right. Uh, quick look up on the mountain. We like to do this. My Mount Hood Ski Weather page uh, brought to you by PortlandWeather.com, courtesy of Hillcrest Ski and Board Shop in Gresham to rent gear, to buy gear, uh, including a, a big supply of clothing, different coats, hats, you name it, they got it. All right. Timberline 30, Meadows 38. It was a decent day up there. Ski Bowl 32. Pass level temperatures well above normal or well above freezing, 38. All the passes are in good shape. Cabbage Hill, Willamette. Yeah, well, Lambert's got a little bit of snow, but not bad. Santiam clean, Siskiyou dry, uh, Coast Range passes are all good. 
40 degree temperatures at past level on Mount Hood Thursday and Friday and even 50 this weekend. So that is a quick look at what's going on with Mount Hood. Clearly, it's going to be all dry into Monday up there. Let's go around the horn. Medford, what do you got? You've got all dry weather for the most part all the way through Monday. And then there's the rain coming in Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. You've got some 60s coming this weekend as well. Pretty, pretty nice. Here's Ben. Uh, let's see here. Mainly uh, after an early snow flurry, dry on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Could be dry on Monday over there too. And there's 60 degree temperatures on Saturday and Sunday. Wow, isn't that going to be nice? Here's Pendleton. Enough said about the auto feed that has a misspelling that I can't control. I emailed them. I didn't hear back. All dry through Monday. Pretty similar to Portland. Temperatures this coming weekend in the 60s. Well, everybody's kind of looking at the same weather pattern, aren't they? Up in Seattle, we've got dry weather Thursday, Friday. Now, up north, eyeing a chance of some showers over the weekend. But 30% chances on Saturday. And temperatures still well up into the 50s. So more clouds in Portland, a chance of weekend showers, but temperature is still mighty comfortable. That is up in Seattle. Salem, what do you got? Uh, I think Sunday's dry. Monday could go either way. So let's say Salem is dry through Sunday. Temperatures this weekend again in the 60s, okay? Um, and I think, you know, by Wednesday of next week, the modeling um, is putting on temperatures in the 50s. That might be too warm. So more, more on that weather story developing coming up. Here's Eugene. All dry Saturday. I think you're dry Sunday. So you're dry through Sunday. Maybe there's some rain Monday. Maybe there's not. You've got Wednesday high 51. Again, that might be too warm. That might be too warm. Here's North Bend. Uh, pretty much all dry through Sunday. Temperatures really nice. 58 degrees Saturday, 58 degrees Sunday. Okay, here's my seven-day forecast, courtesy of Hazeldale Tire Pros up here in Clark County off the I-5 side uh, in Vancouver. So, it was 59 today. I was shocked that it got that warm and that did not trigger some shower activity. 59 today. Could be right there again tomorrow. I'm going 58. 35, 60 on Friday. 60s on Saturday, Sunday. Monday's a day that could go either way. We get increasing cloudiness. We either stay dry or we see some rain move in. Tuesday's a rainy day. Wednesday's a rainy day. Now, notice my Wednesday temperature for Portland next week. 43 in the morning, only 48 in the afternoon. That is the day that the snow level is down to maybe 1,200 feet or at least 1,500 feet. So this is also that time of the year where we're starting to get a lot more sun. And if you get sun breaks, the temperatures will often be warmer than what I think they're going to be because I still look at indices and I compute temperatures from the air mass. But if we're cloudy and it's rainy much of Wednesday, I just don't know how we'd get up into the 50s. The record Cold high temperatures for this time of the year are generally around 45, 46. So that'll be close. That is your update. Enjoy some nice weather. I'll continue to update you on what we're looking at next week. I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. I'll talk to you soon.